This guide is for beginners. It's on how to clean the Beretta 84 and 85. To get started, you're gonna need a few things. Some board cleaner or some kind of gun cleaner. I'm using Break Free Powder Blast in this case. CLP, in this case I'm using One Shot brand. A cleaning rod with cleaning rod attachments. Make sure you get the proper caliber of attachments. In this case, it's gonna be 380, nine millimeter, 38 special, 357 Magnum will also work. You'll need a nylon toothbrush, cleaning patches, also in the appropriate caliber, and a boar snake, in the appropriate caliber, of course. And if you like, use some gloves. I really don't like my skin exposed to cleaning chemicals. And if you really want to get fancy with it, use some Hornady One Shot Gun Cleaner and Lube. It cleans and lubricates in one shot with no oily mess, and it has no odor. There are several ways to clean a weapon, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you how to do it per Breda instructions. Let's get started. Make sure no ammunition is anywhere around. Always keep your weapon pointed in a safe direction. Drop the magazine. Drop the safety. Work the slide just to make sure it's empty. Visually and physically inspect the chamber. Lock the slide to the rear by pushing the slide release lever upward as you hold the slide back. Then press that button on the left just above the trigger guard. Then pull the takedown lever downward toward the bottom of the trigger guard. You'll need to keep the button depressed as you pull that, that lever down. Then pull the slide release back down and pull the slide off, just as shown. Now remove the recoil spring guide rod and barrel by depressing the spring from chamber end to muzzle end. Pull it left to right, it'll come right out. Remove the guide rod from the spring and the barrel should come right out when you push on the top of the slide. Now spray your gun cleaner on the guide rod and scrub it with a nylon toothbrush. When you're done doing that, use a rag to clean off the residue. Now do the same with the recoil spring. Spray it down with bore cleaner or solvent, whatever you got. Scrub it with your nylon toothbrush. After you're done getting a loose fouling off, then use your CLP and repeat the process. When you're finished with a CLP, wipe it down with a clean rag and set it to the side. Let's move on to the barrel. Take your barrel, spray it down with bore cleaner, solvent, or whatever you're going to use to clean it. Spray it inside and out. Then take your bore brush, 380 or 9 millimeter, of course. Screw it onto the cleaning rod, spray some cleaner on it, and push it through from chamber end to muzzle end. But don't go back and forth. You don't want to pull any of the fouling or dirt, um, any of that stuff back in. Just push it out one way. Push the cleaning rod through, take the bore brush off, pull the cleaning rod back out, put the brush back on, and just repeat the process. I do this at least six times, depending on how much I'm shooting. Remove the bore brush from the cleaning rod, attach the patch holder, put a patch on, spray solvent on the patch, and just like the bore brush, only do this one way, from chamber end to muzzle end. Spray the patch, push it through, take off the dirty patch, put a clean one on, and push it through again. Now use your boar snake. If you look at the end of the boar snake, there's a metal weight or a brass weight. Look at the brass part and make sure you're using the appropriate caliber. Take the boar snake, put the weight through from chamber end to muzzle end, and just pull it through. I do this at least six times, depending on how much I've been shooting. I've been shooting a lot with this gun lately, so I'm going to pull it through about 12 times. Using a boar snake is not in the bread owner's manual. This is just something I do to go above and beyond. Now move on to the slide. Spray cleaner all over the slide, top and bottom, inside and out. Now scrub the entire rail with a nylon toothbrush. Pay special attention to the rails.
Now clean the inside of the rails with a Q-tip. Continue using fresh Q-tips until you see that they're coming out clean. Now I'll spray the entire slide down with a dedicated lubricant or CLP. I'm using CLP in this case. And wipe it down with a clean rag. Once again, go through the rails with a Q-tip. Make sure the rails have a good amount of lube. I'd say light lube on everything and medium lube on the inside of the rails and also any parts that show metal on metal wear. Now move on to the receiver. Spray it down with gun cleaner inside and out. Scrub it down with a nylon toothbrush. Make sure to get all the cracks and crevices inside it out, inside the trigger guard, just everywhere. When you're done with the nylon toothbrush, go through it with a Q-tip. Get all the parts that you can't get with a brush with a Q-tip and pay special attention to the rails. When you're done with the cleaner, spray CLP or lube all over the frame and wipe it off with a clean rag. Now before reassembly, make sure you lube your rails and all parts that show metal on metal wear. I like to use a needle applicator just for precision. To keep excess lube from running off the gun, I use a Q-tip to smooth out the lubricant. Cleaning the magazine isn't necessary every time, but I drop my mags during mag changes, so mine get dirty every once in a while, so push that pin in the bottom of the magazine in with a punch, small screwdriver, Allen wrench, whatever you got. Just push that in and the butt plate will slide off forward, like muzzle in forward. And keep your thumb there to keep tension on the spring. If you don't have something in front of the spring, it's probably going to shoot out. Just remove that piece right there. Once you have the floor plate off, it's the rest is pretty easy. You just have the floor plate, the metal piece that goes just on top of the floor plate that's attached to the end of the spring. You have the magazine and the follower just uh, looks like about four pieces it should take you maybe two minutes to take it apart clean it and put it back together again it's pretty simple you probably don't need a tutorial for this part now let's reassemble take the guide rod put the spring back on put the barrel back into the slide make sure it locks in place just like so Now reinstall the guide rod and recoil spring. Make sure it locks in place right there. Okay, now take the frame and line up the rails with the slide. Pull it back. Pull the slide release lever upward to lock the slide back. Push the button on the left side and pull the takedown lever back to the original position. Now do a function check. With the magazine in, pull the slide back. Make sure it locks back. If it does, good. Pull the magazine back. Point in a safe direction. Pull the trigger. Work the slide. Keep holding the trigger while you're doing that. Release the trigger and pull it again. If you hear the click, you're good to go. If you have any questions and you need a quick response, go to SkullCrush.com and use the Contact Us page.